It is once more time to do the weekly update on our young fire ant colony. These are the tropical fire ants known as Solenopsis geminata. This colony was kindly sent over by Ant Antex and is currently living in this very simple Wakushi test tube pod. Now, a few weeks back, I said that I was going to move them and all kind of things. But to be honest, they have been a very kind little colony. Um, and this is update week six. So I have now been keeping them for six weeks. And if we look in here, we do have an insane amount of brood. You can see we have a massive amount of larvae. We even have some small eggs as well. And I mean, the, the funny thing is still, I feel like there's less and less workers. Of course, we do have a worker out here in the out world. We may also have someone in there eating a little bit of the roach head. But generally, it seems the colony is still losing members more than they are growing. But of course, this is only for the time being because all of these will eventually hatch and we'll get a lot more ant babies. Now again, this is one of those updates where there isn't much to talk about, except for how pretty this queen still is. Oh, we actually do have a little bit of a dilemma because the water right here is actually running out. So my plan was to actually move them into a... Uh, uh, gypsum nest, a small wakushi gypsum nest or a medium, but that is way too soon. So now I'm thinking a little bit of giving them a um, small Venus. I do think I have a small Venus out there, which is pretty much this setup right here, just with two test tubes. And I'm able to actually put a little bit of, uh, I mean, I can put a scape wrench in here, but it's not the easiest and I don't think it will work too well. But I can connect this up to a mini Venus or a Venus. I think it's, I think it's called a Venus. Ven it's a small one with two tubes. Um, I don't know if this is actually a small tube or not, but that's my problem. If if it's if it's a big tube, I'm gonna use the regular Venus with three test tubes. But if you look right here, the colony is beautiful as ever. We have a bunch of eggs and a bunch of larvae, and we do also have quite a few pupae. So we are at a stage right here that I would like to say that in week eight. So this is week six, but in week eight, I think we're gonna have some quite a lot bigger problems because that's when the colony will pretty much explode quite a bit depending on how quick they grow of course i don't know the exact size and time but um yeah, i guess we'll show it really well with all of these weekly updates what was i gonna say yeah i'm still keeping them at 25 degrees 24 to 25 and um, i'm feeding them every second day of course all of my colonies are being mite treated at the moment so i'm putting in food the next day i'm taking the food out uh, now, I did feed them yesterday, but I just didn't get the roach it out. But yeah, it was a little bit of a chaotic one today because I also gave them sugar. But they will get new food tomorrow. And it's, of course, frozen food now. Before, I fed them freshly killed roaches, but now it's frozen. So I don't know how much it will affect them. Only time will tell. It may just be better for them as well. We will see in the future. But uh, yeah, this queen is just magnificent. And with that, I would like to say thank you all very much for watching this week's Fire and update. See you all in the next. Bye!